Hello and welcome back to Sci Tai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you to make a 3D printed candlestick and candlestick holder with using a few simple components, such as an 80 tiny 85 microcontroller and LEDs to create a candlelight flame effect. Let's get started. <laughs> These are the items that you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need is a 3 volt button cell battery, 3 volt button cell battery holder, an 8 pin IC socket holder, an AT Tiny 85 microcontroller, a slide switch, 3 LEDs, 2 yellows, 1 red. You're also going to need a perf board and some wires. Now, let's go ahead and assemble this project and let's get started. First, I'm going to go and take this perf board. And this 8 pin IC socket holder. Place it onto the perf board just like this. Clamp it down. Solder it into place. Next, I'm going to take this 3 volt benzo battery holder where this side's negative. This side's positive. I'm going to take this negative and connect it over to pin 4. Place it onto the perf board, just like this. Next, I'm going to take some super glue and glue it into place. And there, the 3 volt benzo battery holder is glued to the perf board. Solder in the negative terminal. Take this bridge wire and connect pin 4 over to the negative terminal of the 3 volt benzo battery holder. Melt the solder so the wire sticks in place. There we go. And now apply more solder so it stays in place better. Perfect. And then cut off the excess. Next, I'm going to go and take the slide switch. And I want to place the center pin of the slide switch over to the positive. Next, I'm going to solder to the second terminal of the slide switch. Pin 8 is the positive voltage input, and I want to connect that over to the slide switch. And I'm going to take this positive wire and bridge it together. Connect pin 8 over to the slide switch, just like that. This right here is a 3D printed model of the candlestick and candlestick holder. Remove it from the 3D printer. Next, what I need to do is assemble everything together. Next, what I need to do is connect these two pieces together. So far, what I've done is found the perfect center of where this piece is going to go. I'm going to take this pin, make four little marks, so then that way I can take this piece off and glue it into place. Put a generous amount of super glue, just like this. Place the piece on top, just like that. Press it down. Spray some activator. And now, place it in quickly. Perfectly in the center where those lines are. And as you can see, the two pieces are now connected perfectly. Next, I'm going to place this ring handle right here, just like this. Take some super glue, place it on. Spray some activator. Put some more super glue. And there, it is now connected. And as you can see, it can support the weight. 
Next, I'm going to go and take this thumb piece and glue it to the ring handle. Place it in, make a little mark to where I feel like it's comfortable. Put a little bit of super glue. Place it on, just like this. Spray some activator. And now hold it into place to where I feel like it's comfortable. There we go, just like that. And now I'm going to place some extra super glue so that that way it stays in place better. Next, I'm going to go and take this candlestick and I want to be able to place my circuit inside. I want to place the circuit right here on the end, just like this. The idea is so that way the circuit goes in halfway and then the circuit can fit inside of the hole just like this. So every time I pull out the candlestick, I can pull out the circuit to be able to turn it on and off or change the batteries. And I'm gonna go and take my file from my pocket knife and cut out a little notch on both ends. A notch big enough to place a perf board through So far it looks good, but I'm going to need to cut it some more. And there we go, should look just like this. And as you can see, it works. It fits in perfectly. And as you can see, this candlestick holder is now complete. What I need to do is paint it black. The type of paint I'm going to use is metallic black. Next, what I need to do is let it dry. And there you have it, the paint is now dry. And as you can see, it has a very nice shiny black, which is exactly what I was looking for. Very beautiful. And as you can see, I could have painted the bottom. However, I don't find it necessary. Next, what I need to do is wire up the circuit. I'm gonna go and take the perf board and stick it into the notch, just like this. I'm going to take these wires and estimate the length. This right here is the negative wire, so now I need to cut three more wires like that. And there we go, I have my three wires now cut, and now I'm ready to wire up the circuit. What I'm going to do first is remove the insulation, Place the negative wire over to pin 4, clamp it down, solder it into place, and solder bridge it to pin 4. There we go, the negative wire is now grounded. Next I'm going to place this wire over to pin 5. Solder it into place, and solder bridge it to pin 5. And now repeat the same process with pin 6. And pin 7. And there we go, it should look just like this. Next, what I'm going to do is insert these wires inside of the candlestick. Place them in just like that. And now, take the perf board and slip it into the notch. Take some super glue and glue in the perf board to the candlestick. Glue it into place just like this. And there we go, should look just like this. And as you can see, the wires are now sticking out. What I need to do is attach LEDs to them. I have my three LEDs right here, and I'm going to solder 10 each of the leads. There we go, just like this. And as you can see, these wires are a little bit too long, so what I need to do is cut them shorter. And now it's time to work with the LEDs. I'm going to take all three of the LEDs, put them together just like this. 
glue them together. Spray some activator in there. Now they're attached. Place some more super glue and attach the third LED. And as you can see, putting the super glue and activator, it changed the color of the LEDs, which is exactly what I want because it gives it a slight frosted effect. A slight frosted effect will allow the LED light to disperse better. And there we go, the LEDs should look just like this. Next, what I need to do is solder all of the cathodes together. Pinch these two cathodes together, solder them into place. And now I'll take the third cathode and solder it to the other two. And there, all three of the cathodes are now soldered together. Next, what I'm going to do is bend all of the anodes, separate them a little bit, remelt the solder on the cathodes to make sure they're attached properly. Next, I'm going to take all three of the cathodes and solder it to the negative wire, which will connect to pin 4, which is the common ground. And now, each of the colored wires will connect to each anode of each LED. First anode is now connected. The second anode is now connected. And finally, the third anode is now connected. And now finally take the 3 volt button cell battery and the AT Tiny and put them into place. Take the AT Tiny 85, put it into the 8 pin IC socket holder. And now connect the 3 volt button cell battery. And there you have it, the circuit is now complete. Switch it on to test it out. And I have the code to the AT Tiny in the description below, which is the candlelight flame effect, which as you can see, the LEDs are flickering like a candle flame. Next, I'm going to take some hot glue and place it onto the exposed leads. Doing this will keep everything insulated and prevent any kind of short circuiting. And there you have it, everything is properly insulated. Do a very quick test to see if it works, and there, it works. What I need to do now is pull on the wires from below to move the LEDs to go inside of the candlestick. There we go, just like that. And there, the LEDs are inside the candlestick. Moving the LEDs inside will give the candlestick a nice glow effect, and as you can see, the LEDs are glowing the inside of the candle, which is what you normally see on a candle flame. Next, what I need to do is turn off the circuit and take the candlestick and place it inside of the candlestick holder. Next, what I need to do is I'm going to go and take some more hot glue and place it on top of the LEDs. And I'm going to place them on top of the LEDs and create a candle flame made out of glue. Carefully, carefully place the hot glue, slowly, allowing it to solidify, layer by layer, and then that way I can be able to create the candle flame. And what's very good about hot glue, it can disperse the LED light. You can even use your finger to make the hot glue cool down and to be able to create the flame effect. And there we go, I have now the candle flame made out of hot glue, and I feel very satisfied with this result. And there you have it, the hot glue candle flame is now complete. Now, let's see how this looks in the dark. Ah, this looks very beautiful in the dark. As you can see, this looks very realistic. And there you have it, this project is now complete. And now you know how to make your very own 3D printed candlestick and candlestick holder and create a circuit with an 80 tiny 85 microcontroller to create a candlelight flame effect. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click the bell icon to be notified of future SciTitech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.